when Nick was talking about foundations, uh, I'm sure most of you know that uh, his son Mark was paralyzed in a game, uh, was it 20, 25 years ago? 25? Uh, years ago. And he started the uh, Bonacani Fund and working with the Miami Project in Miami to find a cure for paralysis. And he has gone out and raised how much money? $300 million. $300 million. Mm. And when there's a cure for paralysis, Nick Bonacani will have a big part uh, to say in, in doing that. And Mark is just a great guy. Went to school with my other sons at Columbus High School. But I digress. I, get, I want to move on. Uh, uh, I can't uh, let this pass without taking a shot at my son. <laughs> He's going for a record, Rondé. He's been with five teams <laughs> in 11 years. Five teams in 11 years. Now he needs to keep playing because the man that holds a record is sitting right here. <laughs> what is there, Earl? Six teams in 21 years? Six teams in 21 years. Brian, I mean, come on. <laughs> you got five different stops. Four teams. Five, five different stops. Anyway, Earl Morrill, uh, I can't say enough about him. We would never have done, done what we did if, without Earl Morrill. So, Earl, come on up and say hello and uh, give us your thoughts. Thoughts after all of this. <laughs> I'm not going to refute any of them, but uh, really, it's a pleasure to be part of the undefeated season and to hear these guys go on. Bob Gracie, I remember I can't thank him enough. I can't say enough about him. I'm lockered next to him, but he's a great, great individual because he broke his ankle so I could play. <laughs> But really, in answering Nick here, I have to say something from the standpoint. He talked about the defense, and I will say the defense itself. We, the offense, we kept well rested. Get the ball to Zonka, get the ball to Kick, get the ball to Mercury. We just controlled the ball. We only had a couple minutes on the field. They stopped the other team. We get it back for another five, six, eight minutes. And then they'd be well rested. They'd go back in again. But uh, really, that was the team itself. They didn't, the defense, no name defense, they look at it, think about it. They really didn't have any athletes on that. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you look at them, they, they weren't super athletes, they weren't this or that. But I'll tell you one thing, they were smart. They, had, where, they knew where they had to be, and that's where they were, and they knew they had to make the play. I see teams out there now with a lot of talent, a lot of super looking athletes, they look great, they got the physique and all of that. When it comes to making a play, they didn't make it. Defense was out there. We kept them rested. They'd go out there, take their two minutes, stop, and give the ball back to us. That way, the other team didn't have much chance to score. 